So Ule, it's lovely to be here to see your show, before your show now. Uh, can you talk about what you're going to show us this collection? You're talking about foreign lands, unknown cultures. That's exactly right. Uh, we call the collection Parfum Exotique, especially because it's inspired by different scents, different fragrances, the feeling of traveling to unknown places. It might not be places that exist or I have never been to, but it's more the feeling of something far away and a little bit exotic. And how did you get these thoughts before uh, you started the collection about these unknown lands? What inspired you about that? It was a feeling. You know, I thought it was a feeling of something summery, and you long for, you're, especially if you're Danish, you're longing for summer, and you, you dream about that period for like more than half of the year. So it's a very natural thing for me to use that inspiration. But it's actually also a little unusual because. Being from the Nordic countries, you think of summers as being very cool and color-wise at least because the light is so clear. So normally when I've done summer collection, I've used very cool colors like soft blues and pale colors. But this time here it's different. It's, it's more vibrant and, and there's a lot of strong colors. Let it shine. And uh, you're using, all, as usual, these ultra-feminine uh, silhouettes. Uh, can you talk about the silhouettes you used and what your thoughts were around, about, around that? For me, I really love a woman who's elegant and has a sense of beauty. For, uh, there's a lot of different ways to dress and look great, but for me, I really love a woman who appreciates beauty. So for me, it's, it's an elegant silhouette always. And the materials I use are always very elegant. I'm a big admirer of silks in many different forms and shades. Uh, so there's a lot of silk this time as always, and uh, we only work with the best suppliers. Like all the fabrics are either from France, Italy or Switzerland, everything is lined in 100% silk satin. It, that whole feeling for me is just very important. You're always bringing in some leather, and for me, leather is a bit of a masculine fabric, no? Not necessarily, it is. It, it's definitely a contrast fabric to, um, to silks. Uh, but I love leather, I love, the, um, I love that it can make a stricter silhouette. I love uh, also the, da I mean, the Danish vibe in the collection. Also, I think it's, uh, Danish always has a little bit of a minimalism to it as well, doesn't it? Definitely. And, and when I work, I don't think about being Danish and, and it being min minimalist. But I know that when other people see, they can clearly see the Scandinavian touch to the collection, which I'm happy about. I'm happy being from Scandinavia. Talk about the process of the collection, the journey from the start to uh, this point here where we're at the show. Yeah, um, in the very beginning when I start to think of, even think about a collection before even one thing has been drawn, uh, I get an idea or, about the feeling that I want to have this certain collection. Uh, and then I start very literal, like for instance the first drawings for this collection were like even more exotic. I had like, uh, it was even more safari and, and uh, tropical, but, but then going through the process you sort of take things off. It's always the thing about sorting out your ideas and, and see really what you want to be. So it's drawing, the drawing process for me is the most important one. And then of course also selecting fabrics and silhouettes of course, but the drawing process is very important for me. So you kind of went from the really extravagant and then you toned it down after a while. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Well, it's really great to see another Scandinavian designer here at the Paris Fashion Week. I love to see that. And thank you so much for inviting us to your show. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs>